A lot of people ask me if you have to be a KW agent in order to be part of our CEO mastermind or even uh, a one-on-one -on -one coaching client, and you don't. Because this is not about brokerages. It's about really understanding the business of real estate and helping agents grow their businesses to the six and seven figure mark quickly because there's a lot of different reasons that people get into real estate and there's a lot of different reasons that they have for continuing to do real estate. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about why I chose Keller Williams as a brokerage and that's just my choice. But I work with agents from all over. A lot of our agents are with Coldwell Banker, they were Remax, they're from all all other even small boutique um, agencies. I'm great with that. But I want you to understand a little bit about your coach, your friend, and who I am as a person and what made me choose KW. So I've been with KW since I started real estate in 2017. It's the only brokerage that I've been at. I've never even interviewed at another brokerage and I don't even know how I got to Keller Williams. Apparently I got a call, a recruiter call, and I went in, whatever. But when I got to the office, I saw a sign that said, God, family, then business. That for me, I was like, I'm supposed to be here. Those are my values. My values are God, family, and business. And what I loved about it is that they were going to teach me how to run my business with those values in mind. Everywhere that I find myself in life, I have to live and be in spaces that mirror my values. That was super important to me. So when I started getting into the business and I'm looking at the systems, the models, I'm like, this is a strategic operation. See, in my heart, because I always study business. So the number one reason that I wanted to be with KW was because it mirrors my values. One is that everything that I do, if God is not at the forefront of it, I don't want to be involved. If my family doesn't come next, I don't want to be involved. And then once those two things are in order, I'm all about that business. And for KW, it's a real estate brokerage for real, true entrepreneurs. I know that in 2024, we've revamped our, our, our commercial um, you know, marketing pitch, and it's like the place where entrepreneurs thrive, but this is really where it is. I have learned how to grow so much in here, in the real estate space. I have eight businesses. I have a title company. I have a moving company. I have a mortgage company. I have these things that I never even knew that I wanted, but I learned because the purpose of business is profit. And I learned how to grow my business systematically and profitably. And I have never, ever wondered what I needed to do to make a hundred K, what I needed to do to make a million dollars because everything is laid out. So the first thing is the value. The second thing were the systems and models. I don't like leaving business up to chance. I study systems and models. I've studied Steve Jobs. I've studied Elon Musk. I study the way they build their business and it's always systematically and strategically. I don't want to go to anywhere that's not going. Don't tell me just to lead generate. That is too broad. Because here's the thing, lead generation represents hard work, which I don't have a problem with hard work, but I need to know how long I need to work hard so that I can get out of the uh, effort zone. I tell people there's an effort zone and there's an efficiency zone. Your effort zone is where you're running. You're running fast. You're going to get tired. You're going to get burnt out in that effort zone. I'm only going to work in that effort zone long enough to figure out what I need to do to get in the efficiency zone. And that's where the systems come in. KW has the systems and models to get you out of working hard to working smart. So my second year in real estate using the systems and models at KW, I was at 150,000 and I hadn't even been in real estate for 20 months. I know people that have, they're in real estate 10 years. They still haven't hit 150,000. I was able to double that and go to 300. And then when I doubled it and went to 300, I stopped working on the weekends. I was like, oh, this is where it is at. Keep that money coming. Keep them hours deducting, right? Because I want to what? Live my values. God, family, business. I will work, but my desire is really to be with my family. I'm working for time freedom. So when I'm started to look at how to structure my business, it has to be strategically. It has to be systematically. It has to be with models and automations and things that can pull me out of the business because my number one goal is not money. I want enough money to come in passively so I can spend time with my family. I have been able to structure my business in a way that I know exactly. If I want to make $100,000 in a month, I know exactly what to do. I know exactly how to structure it because these are the systems and practices that we teach. The other reason is just hands down the culture. 
for me, because values and culture kind of go hand in hand, the culture that we have is more of a individual internal culture in a sense that your business grows to the extent that you do. It's very personal. I have become more self-aware of the things that I need to work on to be a better person doing real estate. Like I learned the fact that I have a D personality. I have a driver personality, which means that I will drive over people or drive people really fast sometimes. I learned how to mitigate that by asking questions. That's a sales skill that I learned, but I learned that in my life, it's not about getting to the results. It's about who I bring with me along the journey. And I have just those little pockets and things that I've learned about how to be a better person that to me is worth more than anything. So a lot of brokerages ask me, they say, hey, we want to talk to you about coming over to this brokerage because we can help your sales volume. They're like, can you show me how to do it without working 40 hours a week? Because if you can show me how to sell real estate without working 40 hours a week, I'll come to your brokerage. But if you're bringing me over to your brokerage to talk to me more about how to lead generate, talk to more people, instead of setting up systems that will allow me to talk to 100 people at once, that ain't for me. Because the way my brain thinks, I'm always thinking of leverage. How quickly can I get out of the business? And that's the number one job as a real estate agent. You don't want to work in your business for years. It is not a flex that you've been in real estate 15 years and you're still selling 100 houses. Why don't you have a team with 15 agents that are selling 100 houses and you now have a title company and now you now have a mortgage company and now you have passive streams of income and your J is spent coaching these agents to success. So now you're impacting 15, families because I want to impact the earth. I don't want to just sell real estate and make money. So anybody that has conversations with me about money, you're going to lose me every time, especially if it's talking about saving money, because that's what a lot of people say to me. Well, KW has all these fees. And I'm like, but you're talking to a person that I'm going to make millions anyway. I don't care about KW's fees because I got it. They showing me how to make it and not just make it three, four, five times over. See, when you're at a brokerage that they, they want you to work, 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 work. I already know myself. I'm only going to work up to a point. We're all going to burn out. We all only have a maximum effort zone. You can only operate in your effort zone for, that's like running. I can't run seven hours straight. Nobody can, but I can work seven hours straight, but I just need to work in an effective manner. And what I love about KW is everything is designed to help you work more effectively. Our number one, um, uh, uh, the, the number one MREA model is listings, leads, and leverage. Now, just talking, going into a little bit of background information about that is when we started talking about listing, leads, and leverage, I remember why would I need listings to get leads when I could just go get leads? And in the MREA, it, I don't care what, that's the Bible for real estate. I don't care what broker you're at. You need to read the MREA. But he said, here's the thing about listings. When you have listings, your name is in somebody's yard. People are going to ride by and see the sign. When people pull up the address on Zillow, your name is on there. People are going to see your name. They're going to call you. When you have uh, your name in the MLS, buyers and buyer's agents are going to call you to show your property. So here's what you're now doing. You now have a three-in-one return on the investment for business that you're already getting. See, when you work with a buyer, you don't get anything but the buyer. See, when I work with a seller, I get to use that seller listing to get a buyer so that one transaction turns into two. I get to circle prospect in that neighborhood so that that two transaction turns into three. And now I'm taking one thing and getting four incomes from it. I'm working smarter, not harder. I don't want to go out here and do all of this stuff forever. I want to know how to systematically set up stuff so that when I want to make money, I go click and the money just starts to flow through the system. I don't see any other brokerage teaching stuff like that. I see them come over here, recruit hundred miles an hour. I don't want to recruit. I want to talk to and deal with people. I want to coach people. I want to help people make money at the core. That's what I want to do. So when I learned these systems, what I did was, and this is one of our models, it's systems first, and then you put creativity on top of the systems. So what people do is they want to come in with creativity. They want to come in and do social media. Social media is great, but it's not a system that you can plug and play. See, set up your plug and play systems, and then once they're done, put them through the social media thing. So then now the system is set up. Social media is feeding the system. See, this is about business. This is how you path your profit, your, how you profit the path to millions. You're not going to make a million dollars because you worked hard to make it. 
it is easier to make a lot of money in a little bit of time than it is to make a little bit of money in a long period of time. But we've been trained by, I don't know, society to believe that we got to drip money because we trade time for money at work. We spend 40 hours to make 2000. So we feel like that's how our money has to come in. Do you know you can set up a system where you can make a hundred thousand dollars every single day. But if you're looking at your business as a business and not as you, I'm not the, I'm not the only person that makes money in my business. If you start to look at your business differently, like who can I include in the business that we can now start to partner together, have leverage and synergy. And now we start to build systems that feed off of each other and I make money and they make money. That's how you start to level up and take your business to the next level. So I tell people, don't talk to me about selling real estate. I have no interest in selling real estate. I sell real estate because it's a funding source to fund all the other things that I'm doing. I sell real estate so that as a coach, when I'm coaching people that are in sales, that I can speak to you from a perspective that I know I've been there, I've done that, and I'm still doing it with you. So I'll always be in production in that regard. I think if you're working with a coach that's not selling real estate, they can relate to you, but it's different when they're having the same challenges that you're facing. They're facing the same market that you're facing. So I'm always going to be in production for that reason. But here's the thing. I teach agents how to get out of production. Nobody, I'm not going to be 80 years old selling real estate. I'm not because I'm going to have things set up where whether I sell real estate or not, I make money. And that's, for example, with a title company, I have a title company, but I have agents all over Florida that send contracts to the title company. Every time they close, I get paid. I don't have to know them. I set that up. Most of them I don't know. I never even talk to them. I don't even run the title company. Somebody else does. But that's an ancillary business. And I learned about ancillary businesses from Keller Williams. And I'm like, oh, this is game over. And when I started thinking about developing the CEO membership, we help our seven fig, we help our high six figure um, realtors go to seven figures through ancillary businesses. And that's all type of business. I have a moving company. I never thought I would have moving trucks. I have trucks that I make money off of. That's another stream of income. And it just resonates with the whole God family business because Ecclesiastes 11 and 2 says that you should diversify your profits into seven ventures, maybe even eight, because you don't know what evil may fall upon the land. So that's God's instruction for entrepreneurs that you got to have seven to eight different ways for him to bring it in. So if I'm going to a real estate brokerage that all you want to talk to me about is how to close transactions, you're not allowing me to realize my purpose in God of having seven or eight different streams. So God, family, and business, it brings me all the way back to what is my purpose in life? My purpose is not just to sell real estate. I'm a wife first. I'm a mom next. My responsibility is to my family. I have chosen the industry of real estate to fund our life but it doesn't always have to be me in it. I tell the story all the time. I close deals in Connecticut. I don't go to Connecticut like that, but I still close three, four or five deals a year there because I've set up the systems there to do that. So for me, it's all about systems because that's how I begin to work less. Right now, I work about six hours a day, four days a week. That is it. And I work really hard on those six hours. And typically, maybe outside of the six hours, I'm planning and I'm doing things, but my business can be done in that amount of time because of the systems. I talk to, I see so many real estate agents that are so mad that I don't work on the weekends. They call me in the weekends. I tried to call you. Yeah, not on a Sunday. You didn't. It's God, family, and business. That's God's day. And they're like, but I need this. Well, everything that you need because I'm a systems person is already there. Well, I just had a couple of questions. Well, you can ask those questions on Monday or else there's a questionnaire on the listing uh, agreement. I mean, on the listing on MLS as well. Everything that I think needs to be done for business, I put a system in place so that I don't have to spend the time doing it. Because why? My time is for my family. My time is for me. My time is for God. My time is for people, not for business. Do I have to work in the beginning? Yes. I spent the first two to three years in my business working, grinding, getting to it. Then I started putting systems in place so that that could happen with me less involved. So it's always a system tool or a person. So a system is something that you set up where it happens over and over again. A tool is something that you use within the system. But once you have the tools in the system, now is you find leverage, get somebody else to do it. That's what a business is. A business is a structured and systematic way of providing a service to a client, group of people, etc. So structured, systematic being the key words. So when we talk about why I joined KW, is because I'm a better wife, a better mother, because I get to now 
make the money and I don't have to make the money at the sacrifice of time. I have the time. There's nothing that goes on in my kid's life that I've, been, I've missed. I don't miss nothing. I don't care what it is because everything in my business can function without me. I set my, I set, I, I was thinking about my business one day and I said, dang, I almost feel like I'm not needed. And, and, and my coach said, that's good. That's the goal. And I'm like, but it messes with your ego a little bit. And this is why real estate agents like to feel important to have their phone ringing. I measure my success by how much my phone does not ring. I don't want that thing to ring. I just need the checks to come in. And I have the way to do it. I have the systematic approaches and process. I have all the models. And I mean, Keller Williams has so many systems that if I want to hire a person, they got a system for how to hire a person. If I need to fire a person, they got a system for how to fire a person. If I want to build a database, they got a system for how to build a database. I want to build a seller system, they got a system for that. I mean, like, listen, I'm overwhelmed with the systems. Like, I only tapped into maybe 10 of them. I kid you not, they're like 50, whatever you want to build. They got a system for it. They got a person that's doing it that will tell you about it. They got a program that you can engage in it that'll show you how to do it. I mean, like, this is what what they have built here as an organization just works for my value system because my value system is not just working for the sake of working. My value system is building a business that can change lives that will allow me to be who I need to be at home. And that's really a little bit of how I mirrored my CEO uh, membership. I don't want I don't want you working all night and all day. I want you to set up systems so that the first goal is that you can work nine to five. That's the first goal. I don't want you working after five and all weekends because that means your family is missing out. And you may have to do that initially for maybe a year, but after that first year, you shouldn't be doing that unless you choose to. Now, I know people that are single. They don't have any kids. They love it. Go for it. But I'm talking about people that have families and things that require their attention you don't, it is not required for you to work hard to make money. And that, that mindset shift, see, the, these are mindset shifts that I had to have. And I learned these things being where I am. So that's why I chose my brokerage. I love to hear why you chose your brokerage. There are some amazing brokerages out there. And I don't want anybody to feel like, oh my God, I have to be at Keller Williams to learn how to run a business. You just need to know what are your core values? What do you value at the core? And then find a brokerage that supports that. For me, this is here. But now I'm developing this coaching program, the CEO of membership to help people. It doesn't matter what brokerage you're at because you may choose to stay at a brokerage because it mirrors your values, but then you may choose to layer in this training to help you take your business systematically to the next level. So you're not missing anything. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate you watching this video and just hearing about what made me choose the brokerage that I'm affiliated with. But I know that we all choose different brokerages for different reasons. I love to hear what brokerage you're at and what made you choose your brokerage. I, there are some amazing brokerages out there and this is what I wanted to communicate at the end of this video that regardless of the brokerage affiliation, we're all still real estate agents, still trying to change our lives through the real estate industry, still trying to make our mark in this world through the real estate industry. We have more in common and we need to work together and not apart because we're all in the same industry and we all are striving for the same level of success. And guess what? We're all going to get there. I'm excited if you are able to partner with me and if I'm able to partner with you, I'm excited to be able to do that. But even if we never partner together, I want you to know that I'm praying for your business, praying for your success. I'm praying that when you do real estate every day, you do it from a place of genuine joy and happiness and that it really is a reflection of your personal values and that you're meeting your markers as far as what you're looking for in a time and money commitment to yourself because you can do this and I'm so excited that I get to see and be on this journey with some of you.